Tennis fans, you know who this is. Katrina Adams. Katrina Adams. Katrina Adams. Katrina Adams. It's Katrina Adams. I was extremely fortunate that my coach thought I had potential, took me under his wing and gave me further instruction for years to come. This is what the parks offer to communities. Opportunities for kids to be active and develop and hone their athletic skills at an early age. I've gone through a lot of different stages and a lot of different transitions as an entrepreneur from being a professional tennis player, to commentator, to co-host, to a speaker. Perhaps you may have heard about all the different things that I've done. I have a TEDx talk that you can find on my website and I'm a co-host of We Need to Talk, a sports show that's on CBS Sports Network. And these have all been empowering for me. My mother and several others inspired me to own my arena, but my book was inspired by everyone that I've ever encountered. Believing in myself was innate, but having the opportunity to share my experiences with the world was a golden opportunity through this book. My journey from a parks kid to the boardroom is not conventional, but yet it's sweet. I was such a tomboy growing up. I played many sports, trailing my older brothers, cousin, and neighborhood kids during the summer months. My sports were softball, strikeout, basketball, football, you know, all the girl stuff. Throwing the perfect spiral, which ultimately assisted me in having a great serve in tennis. Being a multi-sport kid, becoming a great tennis player, having developed great hand-eye coordination at an early age. Maybe it's because we've had to study harder, work harder, play harder to get to where we are today. Maybe those things make us appreciate the journey more. Maybe they make us more apt to appreciate the struggles of others and to want to lend a hand to ease those struggles. Whatever the reason, all of us are keenly aware that if we want to see more like us, we need to do our part to ensure that our shared desire becomes a shared reality. It has been said that a strong woman stands up for herself while a stronger woman stands up for everyone else. For me, it started with my parents believing in me, believing that I could be something special, believing that I had a talent and an ability that I could employ to achieve. My parents stressed education and values and compassion. They taught me goodness and encouraged me to pursue greatness. They set me on the path. Being a tennis player is being an entrepreneur, as I was my own CEO and my own boss. Being in an individual sport, you must hire your own team who you feel will help you be successful, a coach that you can trust and others who support your growth and development. I had no idea how to be a businesswoman. I just wanted to compete, but I instantly became a CEO of my career and had to learn how to navigate the world.